Gigi Ernetta on your InfoWars Nightly News this August 7th, 2013. It's a Wednesday night, and boy, do we have a lot of news. Tonight, Homeland Security is criticized over its sexy spy ad. And Obama says the U.S. does not have a domestic spy program. All that and... Come and take it, mother... InfoWars Nightly News. Your failures! And now you want to waddle around the piles of crap you are and tell me how to run my life while you siphon everything off of me. Homeland Security is being criticized for a sexy spy ad. They're doing a campaign right now with a lady holding a cell phone, and it's a bit sexy. It's uh, see something, say something, but we're not sure quite what it is we're looking for. Their campaign has a woman in a low-cut top, prompting jibes that the federal agency is trying to sex up the task of encouraging Americans to spy on each other. Now, their campaigns usually have behaviors that seem routine, such as DHS promotional videos for the See Something, Say Something campaign have portrayed routine behavior as suspicious, including opposing surveillance, paying for a hotel room with cash, using a video camera, talking to police officers, wearing hoodies, driving vans, writing on a piece of paper, and using a cell phone recording application. Obama appeared on the Jay Leno show last night, and he told them that the United States doesn't have a spy program. The president says that the odds of dying in a terrorist attack are a lot lower than they are of dying in a car accident, unfortunately. Oh, and the lying continues. CNN reports a study on mental illness, not combat, causes soldiers suicide. What they're saying is that mental illness, not combat, causes soldiers to commit suicide. Okay, so they're disclaiming PTSD altogether. In this report, it says there's a record number of military suicides seen in recent years that may not be directly due to extended deployments or combat experience, according to a new study. This data analysis funded by the Department of Defense suggests that the real reason behind the growing number of military suicides is underlying mental health issues in this population. Well, it sounds like once again, the Department of Defense and the government is denying responsibilities for anything. Now, post-traumatic stress disorder known as PTSD is rampant right now with a lot of our military coming back. And for them to say that these guys have mental disorders before they go into the military is just a lie. But I encourage you to go ahead and read that article on your free time. And it's a good long article and think about it and maybe let your government know that they need to start taking care of our veterans. They're waiting way too long to be taken care of. They're filing claims and they don't hear back soon enough. And that's why we have this many suicides. Pennsylvanians are asking feds for backup. They're having a little problem. Recently, the police chief of the small town, Chief Mark Kessler, was removed from his post, but his opponents are far from satisfied. Now residents of a sparsely populated former coal town are asking the feds to intervene in fear of an armed revolt. In Gilberton, Pennsylvania, Kessler made international headlines. Last month, he had videos going up, and they exposed the world to a lawman seemingly intent with defending his Second Amendment rights. You can take a look at it and decide yourself. But the town is afraid, and they're asking the feds for help. Kerry says U.S. will sign U.N. treaty on arms regulations despite lawmakers' opposition. That piece of <laughs> traitor. You know what I have to say? Come and take it, mother Come and get it! 